Now then YouTube, I am the Toth Man and welcome back to my Minecraft Modern City Challenge uh, which is my Solitary Craft Pack, I'm using that to play this Modern City Challenge. Now, like I said in the last episode, um, this one is going to be a mining episode because of course I need to actually um, do the mining episode and of course, with it being night time, just gone, there is uh, some nasties outside that we're going to have to deal with, first and foremost. Everything's going well with my pigs in here. Let's firstly, before we go anywhere, deal with this farm. Got need seeds, good stuff, plant them. Close that. Open up this interface here and put some more wheat in there. Oh, one's got one. What did I say I was going to take with me? Food, I've got my tools. Uh, both iron and stone just in case and we're gonna go mining so without further ado let's go over and start mining because we are looking for redstone that is the biggest thing that we need at the moment that is to uh, to pass phase three I'm getting a weird uh, white texture coming up on my screen there oh no it's the uh, right I know I get it it's the poison never mind <laughs> I think we've gone too far this way, actually, to be honest. Looking forward to getting in there, getting some redstone, and trying to get onto phase four. I really want to start this, uh, start kicking this playthrough off. Really, if I can help it. Oh, bit of laggage going on. Go on. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Don't do this to me now. Come on now. Come on, that's just been silly. Nope, it's been stupid. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back in the world and everything seems okay again. Bugger knows what's going on there. Um, oh, no, I don't say it's... Oh, good. I, I thought it literally just started again there. That would have been horrendous. Um, it looks as if I've just dug that. And I was on the way down, apparently. Oh, yeah, I found that. Right, fair enough. Um, while we're here, switch to the iron pickaxe and grab ourselves these rubies. Now we can actually use iron. Them rubies are going to come in really, really useful when creating tools. Now, I don't want that. I want the uh, the iron sword, please, if I can. Because it's going to be very, very dangerous in these caves. I haven't actually explored them a whole great deal. And of course, I've only come down here with three torches. <laughs> oh, God, great. This is amazing. What? I yeah. I always forget something. I always forget something, and it's so annoying, guys. Honestly, it is. Um, because I can't actually create torches out here either. I can't create anything. So even though I found myself some coal, um, I can't actually create anything with these. So it looks as if I'm going to have to make a trip over. What's that? It's gravel. Looks like I'm going to have to make a trip over to actually make some tools. I, I might make myself a ruby pickaxe whilst I'm there. I know that it's got really good durability uh, in compar- no, really good speed, sorry, in comparison with the iron pickaxe and it's just as durable as an iron pickaxe as well so we've got plenty of daytime, that's for sure, to head over and, uh, and get myself some torches and some other tools. Yeah, there we are. We can also see how the pigs are doing that are over in the pens. Mind you, I'm not looking over there. I'm looking over there, aren't I? I'm looking to go over here to try and get in there. And I thought that was tree was moving then for a second. I'm going mad, guys. I'm going mad. I'm going absolutely mad. Right, just hug this line a bit here. You can see that's the old starting sh hovel right there. So let's get inside and create ourselves some more stuff. And over here, sixteen, and I really need to go and get myself some coal from the foundry, I think. Where everything is actually finished. 
14. Just put one of them back and use the rest. Um, that's finished, of course. And so is the copper ingot, so we've got some copper at least. Not that we can use it just yet. Or at least I don't think we can use it just yet. Let's get that. And get a stack of torches. Great stuff. And now we can... Uh, oh, hold up. Did I get... Yeah, that's good. That's good. I didn't realise... I thought I didn't have enough wood there just to make a, a ruby pickaxe. But uh, Ruby pickaxes, by the way, can be uh, replenished using the second tier covalence dust. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the redstone at the minute to make that second tier covalence dust, which is why I've only got the first tier divining rod. You can see in my inventory there. So let's pop back over to the mine. God's sake. What a waste of uh, five minutes there. Five minutes of the episode gone. But like I said to you guys, I want this to be a fully immersive experience and see me exactly for you know, my flaws um, and see my building style and see what I do when I'm mining. Just a little bit of tips and tricks and all this kind of good stuff. Well, at least I hope it's going to be like that anyway. So we're moving a bit too far this way actually by the looks of things. And again, with the lag in this area, what is wrong with you? I think it's got something to do with the trees. I had a real, real bad problem with the trees. Um, they seem to auto-degenerate, and I've got no idea what it is with extra biomes. Um, bear with me, and I will be back. Sorry about that, guys. We are back and in my mine shaft right now. And what we are going to do is uh, go, and, go and do some mining. And maybe kill a few, uh, a few you know, nasties along the way as well. Uh, hopefully to find the ever elusive redstone. That's, I wouldn't believe that that's the thing that I would be looking for first, but that is what I'm looking for. And we've got some uh, marble here, which is great building material, I've got to tell you. It is very good ma uh, building material. Got some more coal. I won't say no to coal because later on, this coal is going to be very, very useful. That's some copper as well. I tend, what I tend to do, and I've not been able to do this until right now, but right at the beginning of any kind of playthrough that I do, I like to go mining for a good long spell of time, so that when it comes to starting building stuff or making stuff, then I've got everything there. I don't have to then go out mining again, come back, go out mining, go come back. You know, I tend to mine for a long, a long period of time right at the start and get everything I need, get everything together, and it's just... It makes things so much easier when you're looking to build something a bit further down the line. So there's nothing up there to worry about at the moment. There is some more ruby up here, and we're going to grab that, of course. Yeah, good stuff. Some appetite. Let's grab that, because that's going to come in useful for the forestry. I've only got one piece, though. That's a bit of a, bit of a bummer. Never mind. Now, ordinarily what I would do is start from the top and work my way down, but because I'm after redstone, and purely redstone at the moment, um, I'm going to be working my way straight the way down, straight away. But I do, I do like to pick up as much coal as I can going along. I know it's quite boring for you guys watching me mine coal, but uh, I, can, I can tell you guys that um, it's, it needs to be done. It needs to be done, does mining coal. So does mining tin and copper and all the you know, basic stuff that uh, industrial craft requires. So we're going to uh, dig through here and see exactly what we've got in store. I think this might be a safer way down, actually. Some more coal, uh, some more copper, should I say? I'll, I'll take that, no problems. Some more ruby. Some more appetite. I've just got to keep my eyeballs open, though. Uh, when you when you are mining down here, when it's dark, it's a very good idea to just keep one eye on what you're doing. Never leave your back open, uh, like like this, for example. You know, it, there's a big corridor behind me. I'm leaving my back wide open. No, you know, cause somebody could find me there. So what what I tend to do is just dig a little bit of a hole for yourself. And, and then dig outwards and if something comes towards you, say for example a creeper or something, you can just spam that like mad and then try and get rid of them. It tends to work, you know, nine times out of ten for me. Sometimes I get blown up in the process, but that's just part of Minecraft. It happens sometimes. So that's a dead end. We do have a little bit of a cave going on down here. So it's worth just shifting. Oh, that's why you shift. 
pop your eyeballs out and see what's going on, and then hide behind a corner and wait for the skeleton to come to you. Really important, that. Another top, tough man's top tip. Right, now it's it's seen me, it's coming towards me, just hide behind a corner, and, um, you know, prefer, preferably I would like two spaces behind me when I was doing that, not just the one. Ooh, a rocky hive. Right there. I would never have seen that if I wasn't looking up. I honestly wouldn't. Well, obviously. <laughs> what a stupid, what a stupid term to come out with. I would never have seen that if I wasn't looking up. No shit, Sherlock. Right, let's let's mark that because they are pretty much a pain in the ass to find them things. Rocky bees. Good stuff. And I've actually, in the background, you won't be able to see it, but in the background off the screen there, I've got a little bit of a, a, a timer going on that I found online. I thought, you know what, I'm tired of you know, figuring out what type of time I'm on. Um, I'm going to see if there's a stopwatch or something I can use. Because my phone ordinarily doesn't, uh, ordinarily, extraordinarily, should I say, doesn't have one. That uh, is a you know, big surprise to me, actually. Let's put that up there. And let's move our way down. Um, into the bowels. Oh, and it's not looking good down there at all. Look, there's, there's stuff everywhere. There's pe there's things everywhere. There's uh, lava, which is a good sign that everything's good down there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down there, guys. There is a lot, a lot of stuff down there. I've not come with any armor. I'm not equipped to deal with lag. No, not now. Not now, please. Right, fingers crossed I'm okay for just a second here. Uh, let's restart the clock there and get back into it. Um, we've got two creepers, two skeletons, and everything is looking pretty, pretty grim for for, for my guy. It's looking very grim here. I don't know uh, exactly what to do. Um, let's put that down there, I suppose. I've just got to keep my eyes open here. And, uh, you know, if I can lure some out, then that's good. Keep coming, fella, it's fine. I can take you all day like this. Right, I've got to keep an eye out for that skeleton there who's going to come straight at me. And, uh, there's nothing much that you can do with skeletons apart from try to zigzag whilst you're trying to kill them. But the only thing that I find with that is they know exactly where you're going to uh, to go, and they just snipe you. There's nothing much you can do about it, to be honest. So it looks like we're okay for just the moment. I'm gonna get everything, pretty much try to get everything lit up. That is some more iron there, which is good news. That's exactly what we're we're after. Some bones. Some more iron, some oak creeper, good stuff, good stuff, uh, so okay, right let's get this place lit up a little bit more than it is, I think we're okay, I think we're safe for the moment, trying not to keep myself, you know, open to the elements, but unfortunately there's nothing much I could do about that, there's a zombie, right where did you come out of fella, because that's... Rather disturbing. I can hear them. I just don't know where they're coming from. Right, okay. Coming from over here. A dead end, would you believe? Okay, that's fine. That is fine. A dead end I can deal with. Pretty easily. It's everything else. <laughs> that I'm not particularly great at. Um, okay, so I found some more iron back here, which I'm going to go back for. Because iron is what is going to help me with my storage room, of course. I want iron chests so I can get everything uh, all nice and neat in one place, rather than have double chests everywhere. Some copper here, because I, mean, I can always have copper chests as well. I've got a decent amount of copper. And I can start off with copper chests and upgrade them with the iron chest mod, so that's always good. Ruby, because, you know, I can. Who doesn't like Ruby, though? And I really don't like leaving myself open here. Well, that is a turnout for the books. 
And of course, right now I've just started lagging. Again, it's got to be something to do with the heat of my computer at the minute. I've been very busy on it for most of the day, I have to tell you guys. I've been very busy on it. And um, I have done quite a bit of recording. Not just on the PC, but, um, you know, off PC as well. But I've, been le I've left the computer on all day and I reckon it is because it's getting a bit hot. So just bear with me just a second. Uh, I honestly hope that was the last time because it's getting annoying now. I've got to tell you. Um, right, let's go and get that uh, get that redstone. That's what we came for. Let's do our job and get out of here. We want a full stack of it, remember, to actually get through the next uh, stage. So, never mind. There's some there as well, so that's that's a plus. And of course, you don't just get one redstone out of this. It's a whole bunch of it. So that's also great. Oh yeah, look at that, there's some iron right next to it as well. Couldn't have asked for more. Get in. Right, what what have we got? 18 redstone, so we're going to have to uh, dig around just a little bit more after we've got this. For some more redstone. I've got to keep my eyeballs around and about, so that I don't get blown up with this. Because that would be horrible. And of course, remember, watch where you are digging, because it could be pretty bad news for you. Now you probably can't see bugger all, so let's try and uh, light and light this up. Because I've seen some iron that I want to grab. And I want to go back down there, actually, because I don't want to get too far upwards. I want to find a place where I can actually just go and, uh, you know, dig. I think we're going to go around this lava pool. We're going to dig around it. Number one, lava pools give you light, so... Ooh, nearly worked into that. No, lava pools give you light, so whatever you do, you know, try and keep around them at all times when you are mining. It saves on, you know, torches and stuff like that. If you've got a nice bucket of lava, or if you've got a few buckets of lava, you can, you know, plonk one of them down, and it does give a very decent amount of light. And number two is that mobs... Obviously can't spawn where there is light, so that you can keep everything pretty much away from you. Um, unfortunately, this looks like it's going to be a bit of a pen in the backside to get hold of, this redstone here. But I'm not one for backing down from a challenge. And I'm going to do that right now, by squeezing that into there. Oh yeah, look at this. I say I don't you dare start lagging again, not when I'm so close to the end of the episode, no. It's just getting silly. Okay, let's. Uh, I think we're in a good position now where we can just nick that uh, redstone there without dying miserably. 52 redstone, and remember we do need a little bit extra redstone because we want to make that tier 2 divining rod. Well, I do, I, you know, I don't have to, but I, that's what I personally want to do. So... Having a look round for a bit more. Is that oil? It is oil. It's really interesting. I'm not bothered about this pick breaking at all. It's fine. Um, just trying to dig around this lava pool here just to see if there's anything else I can see. Nothing much I can see from here. However, I am going to dig. If I am going to build outwards here. Because there's not usually an oil well here without a geyser, and that it does look like it's going to be a geyser to me. And there is redstone right in front of my eyeballs. Um, now, be very, very, very careful when going against the flow of water, especially right next to lava like this, because you are in danger, of course, of putting yourself into the lava, and that's never a good thing to do. Now, was it me, or did I see like this? It's pushing me out, so just be aware of that. I did see another bit of redstone that I would like to get my hands upon. Ugh, not like that though. Ah, damn. There we are. Right, okay. Make sure I'm in a good position here to grab the redstone. Okay, so I'm very, very short. Uh, very, very close, should I say, to get in that elusive last bit of redstone. Ah, I'm just trying to block all this oil off. There we are. 
block all that oil off and, uh, and have a look around for some more redstone. It doesn't look like there is. It looks like it was only them two pieces again. So it's a case of having a look around. And there is another oil spawn. That is really interesting. I've got to keep this in mind. And uh, this is a bad situation to be in because, of course, I'm going to get pushed straight into this lava. But luckily, I've got away from that. Oh, don't want it totally dark now, do we? Um, oh, there's water above me right there. Interesting. Gold. The uh, clock saying that it's the end of this episode. I didn't realise it did that. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the time either, so that was uh, a good bit of a, a good bit of play there from the alarm clock. Brilliant stuff. So I'm going to hover. I'm going to hide in this little area here. Oh, more iron. Sweet. I'm going to hide in this little area here. Um, what? Where am I? Why level 13? So I think this might be a good place actually to start my little bit of a strip mine going with my divining rod. But of course that is going to be for the next episode. So until then guys, I've been the Tough Man and as always, stay safe.